in this video, we're gonna do stop, stay, change directions, but I felt like it would be good to see an example with a small dog. So previous, we had Mars, who is a crazy puller, and this one, we have a, a little small white terrier named Diego. Um, great little dog here, but he does pull. He pulls the volunteers to the door and out of the kennel. He's just a, quite the puller. So much to where he'll cough and choke as he's pulling, okay? Now, just as in the first video, our technique doesn't change based on breed, size, or temperament. We do it all the same. It's stop, stay, change directions. But with small dogs, you wanna be really aware that if you turn too fast, you don't want them going one way, you go the other and then you yank their neck. Remember, this is not about correction. We're trying to teach them to follow. Sorry, we got a dump truck over here. Just forget the dump truck, watch me and the dog, okay? So here we go, we're gonna start. I'm gonna stop, go this way. Let's see how Diego does. Gonna go this way. And you'll see him kind of go through a few different phases. Sometimes the dogs will go through confusion where they just want to jump and act silly. Um, sometimes they'll like show avoidance by just constantly sniffing and trying to pull. But what I'm gonna do is just take some different, oh, did you see how sharp that turn was? I went too fast. So I turned and it kind of pulled his body around. Don't do that, okay? So just be careful here. It's hard to talk and train and do the thing at the same time. Okay, see him biting that leash and acting silly? See all this right here? Just keep changing directions. Don't worry about that. What's happening, he is smart. So what's happening here, this is a great, I know this video will be a little bit longer, but this is a great learning experience. We basically stopped and started going and he's saying, I don't wanna follow you, I wanna run sniff, I wanna run play, I wanna run and do this. We don't do anything. The worst thing we can do is say, oh, it's okay, and start petting and interacting and rewarding that. Don't do that. Just pick up your pace and start moving. Watch, I promise you, he won't do that. He'll stop doing it after he learns that I won't give him attention, because that's what we call attention-seeking behavior. But I'm, I'm not gonna let him do that. Help him out of that real quick. When they pull like that, I'm just gonna turn more. Let's go this way. Notice I'm not really interacting with the dog at this point. I'm just walking. Okay, I'm just doing my job. Oop, that's a little, I can't help it if I turn and he runs off. That's just gonna happen. You gotta love it, right? Look at him, there's tons of avoidance. It's all right. You notice I, it doesn't really bother me. I'm not like interacting with this. Now, if a big dog does this and starts pulling and it gets you nervous or, or it gets a little out of hand, then you need to put the dog back in his kennel, okay? If you do this on a big dog and they don't like it and it makes you nervous, put them up. Don't keep doing it. But the small dog, I can pretty much handle Diego, so I'm not too worried here. But isn't it interesting, did I give him any attention and is he doing it? Now he may just pick up doing it again, but if you'll notice, right, he's not doing it. I can't see him, he's behind me, but I can feel that he's not tugging on it, right? Look at the difference there. See that? So, there's a perfect example of stop, stay, change directions. Now, 
A perfect example of how it'll look in real life. Is the dog ever gonna be perfect? No, in this environment, they're not gonna be perfect. They're excited to get out of their kennels and run around. But I love that he acted silly and grabbed this because even though it makes the video longer, you get to see what I would do as a dog trainer when that happens. And I don't give it any attention. I don't correct him, I don't say no, I don't really stop. I just keep doing the exercise and this is what you'll get, right? He's trying to be a brat and I'm not gonna let him. Now he's not doing it. So remember, stop, stay, change directions. And on the little dogs, be careful not to turn too fast because we don't want him to yank. But a couple times he would run out and I couldn't do anything. He was just gonna hit the end of the leash and hey, it is what it is, but he learned that he caused the tension, not us. So there you go. That's Diego and stop, stay, change directions. And we'll see you guys in the next video.